Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. You know, family, there are some people who do things mainly to test God. I don't know what are people expecting God to do. What do we expect God to do when we do things that are not allowed? You know, uh, uh, people forget that God has given us political structures. The same political structures that we have voted into power. It is God who has given us those people. God has given us these structures to govern the country, and not only the country, but including the people who live in that country. So when the government, the same government that God has allowed to be in power, when it says it is illegal to carry dangerous weapons in public, then it is illegal to all. It does not matter you are a Christian. It does not matter whatever religion you believe in, whether you are a Hindu or you are a pastor or not, or maybe you are a traditional healer. At the end of the day, when a when, when, uh, uh, law says it is not allowed to carry dangerous weapons in public, that applies to all. It applies to all of us as uh, the members of this nation that we need to follow. We need to abide to that. No one is above the law. No one in this country is above the law. Whether it is the president, whether it is the pastor of the church, whether it is uh, whatever that you can think of, no one should be above the law. So on this video, family, we are going to watch as Pastor Mboro yesterday went back to court to appeal the court's decision for denying him bail. Remember, two weeks ago, Pastor Mboro and his bodyguard, their bail were um, denied by the court and only his son was released. Family, as Pastor Mboro was inside the court, busy with the appeal, outside the court, we see his followers. I don't know whether some are the members of his church uh, or maybe it's the community of uh, Natal Sprite, where he is, where he resides. We see them outside chanting, showing that they are not happy about what is happening. They are chanting, they are demanding that Pastor Mboro must be released. They don't understand why is Pastor Mboro kept in that uh, uh, prison when Pastor Mboro is not a thug when Pastor Mboro is a man of God, you know, and all that. But for the mere fact, Pastor Mboro was seen carrying a gun. I don't think we're that caught. They're, they're denying Pastor Mboro bail because uh, of the issue of the kids. No, it might be that the reason that he was carrying a gun, you know, uh, and and the bangers in public because of that that might be the main reason why the uh, magistrate felt that it is not safe for Pastor Mboro to go out there where the public might endanger him family let's watch this clips What is good? All the time. You're back in court today? Yes, I am. You look more enthusiastic 
than you did in the last four appearances? No, I was praying. I was not uh, depressed. I was talking to God. The cases were open, they are not entertained. My cars have been destroyed. The church is burned down. I'm trusting God. You see, I'm here now, I'm still waiting. So, so, so that's it. We'll, we'll, we'll talk after. No. It's my life here. Uh, we are here to support uh, our brother, uh, my dear esteemed brother in the Lord, uh, Prophet Pasika Franz uh, Mutweneng. Uh, we are here to support him. He must get, he must get bail. He is not a criminal. He is not a murderer. He is not a rapist. He is not a flight risk. He deserves justice. He need to get the bail. So this issue, it's very sensitive. It's between the two families. So we have seen Abandu commenting on what they see on the social media. There is a story behind that. So we are here to support him. It has to free and release Umbor. We are here to support him. He must get bail. He's not a rapist, he's not anything, he's just a man of God. Even if you can see on the video when he went in the school, he never injured anyone. So why they keep him on jail? For what? So it seems like it's government against one man, or this is against the Christianity. So we are here to support Umboro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Family for Pastor Mboro to be, not to be released on bail, do you think it's government versus Christianity? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, family. Do you think the government is doing this because it is against Christians or it is against Christianity as a movement? Let, let's, let's talk. Thank you, family. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Let's meet in the comment section. Thank you, thank you as you liking this video before you leave subscribing for my channel those who haven't done so please subscribe for my channel as well thank you family i love you bye